Welcome everybody to the Tournament of Queens. It's for the Women's Championship here in UWA. Here comes the current champion, Tara. She'll be starting off our match against the number 8th ranked woman here in UWA. As champion, she automatically occupies the number 1 ranked seed in this tournament. This will be a single night tournament. Again, it'll be for the Women's Championship, so the winner walks away with the gold by the end of the show. And here's her opponent. Muerta Loca. Should be quite the matchup between these two ladies. Muerta looking to get an upset here and to throw in the current champion, guaranteeing a new champion if she does get a victory. Tara, in order to retain her title, will have to do a clean sweep through the entire through the entire tournament. So she'll have to win the quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals. She has to win three matches in one night. There's the bell. Tara right at the gate starting off with a modified rib breaker. Tara of course known for her power and her strength. Oof, just hammering hard strikes there. Lifting her just straight up into the air and then dropping her down. <clears throat> Current Women's Champion is in firm control thus far. Oh, counter there. Dodge made. And again, going right back to the arm. Kind of unique strategy. Normally the champion goes after the midsection first. Oh! Yeah, I spoke too soon and she goes right after now. Oh, big clothesline. Marches out to the floor. It's a single elimination tournament. Win by pinfall, submission, count, or disqualification. So, champion really doesn't have an advantage here, as she would in a normal singles match. Oh! Hard kick to the chest. Forearm strike. And right back up to the streak again. Muerta is in a world of trouble right now. Oh, just stomped on in the corner there. Picks her up all the way out just for a backbreaker. And carrying around the ring with a second one. A oh, nice counter there by Muerta trying to show some, some fight still in her. Or this is the first bit of offense we're actually starting to see for Myrta Loka. Oh, maybe spoke too soon. Trying to fight for control there in the corner. Oh, nice shotgun style drop kick there by Morta. Oh, and a modified back breaker of her own. And snap German suplex. The champ fighting out. Wait a minute. Wait a second. That's WWE Super Star Lux of Bliss's music hitting. 
Throwing a distraction. Marta. Looking for an upset here. Oh. Pop up caught her. Oh, and a big slam. Goes for a pin. One. Two. No. Where to getting kind of desperate. Uh oh. Getting caught up on the top rope. He's going to pay for it now. Oh, well, now she's now she's in that modified torture rack. We're gonna fight free. Gets an arm drag to get free. Oh no! For a kick, got caught with the big spine buster. Oh. Versus the glam slam powers her down. Cover one, two, three, and Terra wins. Advancing to the next round. Look at that pop up into the big slam. There's a counter out of that modified torture rack. But it was the glam slam for the win today. Let's see our opening bout here. We got more to come. Stay with us. Upload your creations for UWA using the hashtag UWA2K20. That's hashtag UWA2K20. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. More tournament action as we're into the second matchup of the first round. Get Yumiko. Getting set to take on Cassandra Chaos. These are the fourth and fifth seed superstars for this tournament. Yuka you know, can really solidify herself as the top woman in UWA if she can win the whole thing. Certainly is a mountain that she's been looking to climb. And here comes Cassandra Chaos. Newcomer here to UWA. Certainly doesn't lack intensity, that's for sure. And those who've been watching her on UWA TV notice that she's got kind of a kind of a reverse look to her normal ring gear. Normally it's yellow with black, and this time it seems to be black with yellow. Not a huge difference, but just like a minor detail. Won't have any impact on her wrestling ability, I'm sure. Miko recently showcased her explosive offense. And now Xander trying to show some explosive offense of her own. Quick start here. 
Where this match faces Terra in the semifinals. Back by drop there. And for a running elbow, missed. Oh! Slap to the face, that's just disrespect. I get another float over into a back suplex. Ooh, forearm strike. Oh, I almost got caught up in the ropes there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh! A Beal might break Cassandra Chaos. Just roll out to the floor. Oh no! Lures her in and starts pounding on her. Okay, I was kind of mocking, kind of mocking Yumiko a little bit there. Oh, Ryan Meteora goes for a pin. I don't even get a one count. Referee's kind of slow on the on the pickup there. He's a drop kick. This Russian leg sweep. Oh, and a kick to the spine. That's just nasty. Ooh, look at Hurricane Rana there. Oh, and bounced her head off the canvas. Kicked to the midsection that time. I said, Cassandra Chaos, she has a vicious side to her. Yumiko, oh, there's that of offense there with that running clothesline. Crank it on the head and neck. Quick blow to the body there. Chaos already just. Oh, hanging her up against the ropes. All right to the eyes. Going for the arm now is Yumiko. Oof. It's an elbow to the side of the face, though. Oh, look at this. It's kind of a straight jacket super neck breaker. Two. Well, I guess a two count though. Chaos going up top now. Oh, top row frog splash. One, two, another two count. What you got in mind here? Oh my goodness! Front flip DDT. One. Two. Oh. Yumiko barely kicks out. The hard shots. Now, looks like she's going after the arm. Oh, just bending it down at an awkward angle. Oh, and stomps on the elbow. Oh, kicks to the spine. Going for the legs, and right now it's just it's chaos picking apart Yumiko. Again, going for the knees. Try to mess up the quads. Now going back to the arm. Oh. Oh my goodness. She slams her head off the canvas. Goes for a pin. One. Two. Got a two count there too. Oh, referee's down. Running double knees in the corner. Chaos went outside for a moment. Not sure what she's looking for, possibly for a weapon. 
Give me a uh oh. Got cut up on the on the ropes there. Oh straight jack and neck breaker. One, two. Again the resiliency of Yumiko. Yumiko hadn't gotten hardly any offense in here, but she's definitely been keeping it hard making it hard for Chaos to put her away. There's the Rampage DET. One, two, three. Chaos finally gets the win, so she'll be challenging Terra in the next round. That was the first straight jacket neck breaker. Why well, is it suplex, but it's a neck breaker? Top rope frog splash there. Many near falls, but in the end it was the, uh, the Rampage DT that got Cassandra Chaos the win here in the first round. Check out our new subreddit at r slash uwa 2k20. That's r slash uwa 2k20. Link will be in the description. Welcome back to the Tournament of Queens, ladies and gentlemen. More first round action for you as we've got Blackwell Punk on our way to the ring. be a matchup between the number seven and three seeds. Blackwell Punk, the number three seed, her opponent, number six seed, I'm sorry, three and six seeds. Number seven seed will be in our next match, which will be the last match of the first round. <clears throat> opponent for round number one will be Katrina Strong. These two have had multiple matches against each other here recently. It's another one for good measure as they enter into this first round of the tournament. Alright, there's the opening bell. Lock up here and surprisingly enough, Blackwell Punk got the upper hand on that first exchange. Immediately going after the arm of her opponent. Oh, nice reverse DT. Held her there and made her think about it. had to make her think about it. Oh, just an arm breaker there. Ooh, big forearm strike. Oh, and a clothesline to the back of the neck. Oh, and a spear. Talk about explosive offense. Katrina Strong is really explosive with her strikes once she gets going.
We have scoop slam. Oh! A modified power slam goes for early pin. One. And this is a single night tournament. You want your matches to go as quick as you can. Oh! Right shoulder tackle there. Punk on top already. Hits the diving elbow. The head scissors. Nope, strong escapes. Ooh! Connects with the bulldog though. Oh! It's just a wicked strike. Ooh, nice crispy slam. Doesn't hold it for a pin. Just a takedown. Off the ropes now. The one for a drop kick got countered. And, ooh, it's a gut wrench suplex. Oh! Yeah, slap. That's just disrespectful. Oh. Going for a sleeper hold. Has the body scissors in. Wouldn't this be something to see a tap out? Or, or seeing the MMA fire go to sleep? Oof. With a kick followed by a hard forearm shot. Ooh, and a drop kick. Wait a minute. That's Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon has entered here at the arena. Is she in line with Katrina Strong? She's right outside the ring, cha you know, cheering her on. But now she's as quick as she showed up, she's turning around, walking away. So the second eruption just in the first round alone. Oh! Avoid the strike connects with a punch. Oh, I'm going for an armbar on the floor. This is not going to get her a win if they get count outs. Oof. Punk and brawl, that's for sure. And that's what this fight's gonna turn into is more of a brawl. Oh turn around DT on the floor. Oh and a float over DT on the floor. Every count to seven. Strong kind of forces her way back into the ring. Nine. And now Sasha Banks is interrupting. Well, while this inv while this invasion continues. Oh no, German suplex. Strong now the victim of the distraction. And Punk. Punk trying to capitalize. And just like that, WWE superstars have left once again. Oh no! Avoid the. Avoid the uh, the diving headbutt. The moonsault headbutt there. A couple of gutting suplexes followed by the basement kick. Oh! The resiliency of Blackwell Punk. Both these ladies experiencing interference. She could have cost them the match. Oh no. Strong starting to. Oh! Showcase her aggressive side.
Oh, getting a big government suplex. Oh my goodness! Slammed her face first. Looks like she tripped over herself a little bit there. Oh! Sleeper slam. Looks like he's fighting hard. Oh! Dropping the leg right across the back of the neck. Punk going for that sleeper hold again. As the body scissors. But again. Oh, another DT. And strong. Struggling. Oh. Big stomps in the corner there. And for a basement drop kick, didn't quite connect with it though. Oh! Connected with that forearm though, that's for sure. Now going for the arm bar. Oof. Wicked strikes there. Oh! Oh, there's the fast strikes. And there's the basement kick. Could this be enough. One, two, oh, two and a half. Oh, big discus lariat just taking her down. Go for another pin. Punk now refusing to stay down. Oh no. Over that bridging armbar. Again, trying to get trying to get a submission victory. Oh, roll through. Oh no, dumps her over the top to the floor. Strong's gonna need this opportunity to try to recuperate. But the question is can Blackwell Punk beat the count again? She barely beat it last time. Got her grabbed, but. Not able to do much with it. Poor Mark towards the center of the ring now. Oh no! I want to get caught. Is that turn around DET yet again? Oh! Caught the wicked clothesline. Whoever wins this match might not have anything left come the next round. Oh! Sit out Spine Buster. One. Two. Up top now. Oh! Big diving knee. Oh! Knee to face. I go after the legs. Oof. Oh. Series of strikes there. Straight into the corner. Oh, look at 
look at the strength here. A dead left. Oh, into a falcon arrow. Oh, roll-up attempt. Almost caught her with it. Uh-oh. Oh! Well, the third time be the charm. One, two, three. Katrina Strong. The hard fought victory there. The interference on both sides, but Strong gets the win. Oof. Vicious shots there. And again, you see that, that barrage of blows. Trina Strong gets the win with the basement kick. She'll meet the winner of our next match in the semifinals. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Tournament of Queens. This is the final match of the first round of our tournament. You see a, a new look there on Samantha Starr. She's not getting a very warm reception here. Normally we see her in the pink and black. This time she's in the red, the red and blue. She's the number seven seed, taking on the number two seed. So she's got a tall task ahead of her. But you gotta think after that last matchup, whoever wins is gonna have possibly an easier, either easier, easier match in the in the semifinals. As Blackwell Punk and Katrina Strong tore each other apart. Here comes Dominique, the number two ranked competitor in this tournament. Based on wins and losses alone, she would be the natural number one contender for the women's title if there wasn't a tournament already in place. First ever women's champion, the only other woman to hold the title. Lock up now. Dominique backs Samantha Strong against the ropes. Referee finally stepping in there to separate them. Forces a clean break. Oh! Wicked snapmare there. Oh, my kick to the spine. Star answers with a Russian leg sweep there. He's starting to show some aggression. Lock up again. Star gets the upper hand. Mia starts working over the arm. Oh, a nice counter there by the former champion. Roll through escape. 
Ooh, takes her down with another Russian leg sweep. Oh, now just ramming her head into the canvas. Do found aggression from Star. Oh, he's a wicked chop to the chest. Early cover, nothing doing, not even a one count. Oh, throws her head first backwards. Oh, looks like she's going for a pile driver. I guess back by dropped. Nice counter there. And going for another slam. Oh. Ooh. Nice suplex there. So far, it's been almost all, all Dominique. Every time that Smith Star gets a little bit of offense, then she gets stopped. Oh, for a kick there, got nothing but a clothesline. And I pull her up by the hair. Oh, slam her right back down. Oh. Ooh, big leg drop. The kick out by Samantha Star. I get credit for being resilient, to say the least. Oh! But how resilient can he be against a series of headbutts, though? Oh. Nice counter there. There's a discus lariat. That'll get her back into the match. One, two. Two counts to start. Oh, rolling her up. Going for a, a knee bar of sorts. Should get a submission here. And the powerful body as the Former champion is able to escape. Oof. On her shoulders. Walking around the ring. Oh, snake eyes. Drops her right into the top post. Going back to that Russian leg sweep that served her well so far. Oh, no. Another kick out. Oh, there's the super kick. One, two, no. You got two and a half, and Dominique's kind of beside herself. I think she was expecting this to be an easy opening match for her. Oh, there it is. This is layered again. Oh, missed the close line. Oh, but able to get away. Oh, rolls her up. Is that Nevar again? Can we see an upset here? And again, former, former women's champion able to escape, but barely. Oh! Shoves her right back down. Oh, 
Oh, again, tried to get her up, but couldn't quite power her way through it. Oh. Pair of clotheslines. And big one off the ropes. Oh, and a running leg drop. Oh, and Dominique wins. But give Samantha Star credit, she put up a hell of a performance. Lariat wasn't enough, unfortunately. Welcome back to the Tournament of Queens, ladies and gentlemen. Time for second round action as Tara makes her way to the ring. Again, even though she didn't have the title with her at this present moment, she is the current women's champion, the defending champion in this tournament. She knocked off Morta Loca in the first round and is looking to do the same against uh, Cassandra Chaos here in this round. He Just Cassandra Chaos. She's victorious against Yumiko in round one. Would love to knock off the current champion and guarantee a new champion. Both these ladies had a little bit of time to rest, but not too much. Let's see how they fare in this next match. I was going for opening suplex, gets countered right away. Oh, big waist lock takedown by the champion. Bear in mind, even though Terra faced off against the number 8 seed, Mortaloka, Mortaloka got in a lot more offense than Yumiko did against Cassandra Chaos. Cass rolling out to the apron. Tara gonna try bringing her back in the hard way. Big any vertical suplex. Oh, stomp to the face. Oh no, an arm bar. Just kind of more of an arm ringer there, if you will. Stretching on the Right about where that socket is, where the shoulder. Ooh, wicked knee strike to the midsection. Around the ribs. Ooh. 
And there's a nice kick followed by a rib breaker. Oh no! Showboat a little too much and got caught. Big elbow drop by the champion. Now going after the other arm. Oh, wicked right hand. Right now the champion is just overpowering her opponent. Ooh, big ring for a clothesline. Oh, ducks. Oh, there's that rib breaker, that shoulder mount rib breaker. Look at this. Oh, modified lamb slam. Enlist her into a submission hold. Unique move here. She gets a mission. She's got her tied up. And eventually, she has to give up. Sandra Chaos had nowhere to go. She was literally tied up like a pretzel. I'm afraid no, no choice but to call for the bell. More dominant victory there for for Tara as she advances to the finals. The quick win is what she needed to avoid taking too much damage. Alrighty. Make sure it twitches everything is going good. About ready to get into this beast. Welcome back to the Tournament of Queens, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second semifinal matchup. The winner to advance to the finals to take on Terra for the Women's Championship in our main event. Katrina Strong had a grueling match against Blackwell Punk in the first round. Now faces the tall task of the number two seed, Dominique. Had a little bit of time to rest, but not much. Especially considering that they their matches were the latter two of the first round. And the first semifinal match is already over and done with. It didn't, didn't last that long. Here comes Dominique. She had a, her opening match against Samantha Starr, who put up quite the fight, but just couldn't get the job done. Eventually was put away via a leg, dro leg drop by the former champion. Oh, wicked clothesline. Start up this match here. And both these ladies still look exhausted from their from their first round matchups. Nice duck under there. Oh, and a spear. Okay.
for the legs. Oh, Tommy goes to the eyes. Oh, a wicked headbutt. And going to scoop slam doesn't doesn't get it done. Oh, just dumped out to the floor. Katrina's got a 10 count to get back in the ring. Dominique might just want to let the count out happen. It gives her more time to recover, but she's not going to. Oof. Strikes. Oh. And neither the forehead. Katrina Strong getting back in the ring. At this point, I think she'd take a count win just for the sake of trying to recover as much as she can. Six. Really gets back in. Oh! And right into a neck breaker there. Oh, ducks under the kick. Ooh, big suplex. Just power. Pure power, that's all that is. Oh, the lower range chop. A nice evasion there. Oof. Both these ladies countering each other heavily. Oh. I don't need showing your power again. Strikes the midsection. Oh. Right to the face. Kind of, kind of a springboard stomp, not really, but strong trying to fight back. Oh, counter. Sunset flip going for a pin. One, two. Oh, barely kicks out. Oh, look. Just wailing on her in the corner there. Oh! Be looking for the basement kick here. Roll through. Oh, and there it is. Goes for the pin. One, two. The resiliency of Dominique showing. Oh, the aggression starting to come out from the Katrina Strong. Oof. Hard strikes, neck breaker. She's gonna do up here. She typically doesn't fly. Oh, that's that's the reason for it. Only a one count. Nice stiff shot and a big chop. Oh, there's a bulldog. Oh, another bulldog. Ooh. Neck whip there. Oh, nice counter. Counter there. Trading stiff shots. Oh, I need a forehead again. Oof. 
big punch and a spear again. One, two, another kick out. The dog makes already back up to her feet. For chin lock. Oh, and a nice jawbreaker there. Oh, there it is. Flurry of blows. Oh, and a slap. A slap to the side of the face. And a spear. Oh, got the R. Oh, now going for the heel hook. Well, she gets submission here. Oh, and she makes her tap out to the heel hook. What a surprising win for Katrina Strong. And she takes down the number two seed in this tournament. Those ladies came in hurt, and in the end, it was Katrina Strong who get the victory via tap out. So she'll advance to the finals to take on Tara for the championship. Upload your creations for UWA using the hashtag UWA2K20. That's hashtag UWA2K20. Welcome to the Tournament of Queens event, ladies and gentlemen. This is a little break in the action between our semifinals and finals. Got a match for the men's world heavyweight championship as shuriken is looking to challenge plague bird right, yeah. shuriken has been most impressive here lately on UWA television and has earned himself another opportunity the question is we'll be able to capitalize on this opportunity comes the champion. Plague Bird has held the Mid-Atlantic title and he's now the current World Heavyweight Champion, his followers, Warbear and Venom Snake, they've held the tag team titles, so they've done just about everything they can here in UWA in the short time that we've been around.
see how the champion fares in this tile defense against someone who he's met before. But just because they faced off doesn't mean that it's gonna gonna come out the same as as it has in the past. We could see a new champion crown. We could see the champion retain. Look at the challenger, Shuriken. See the champion staring right back at him. No doubt looking for any openings to exploit right out the gate. It'll be the craftiness and, and tactician skills of the champion against the There's the bell, ladies and gentlemen, and the men's world heavyweight championship match is underway. Oh right out the gate. Challenger lines a front suplex. The striking ability of the challenger versus the craftiness of the champion. Oof. Case in point there. Look at this. Chandra going after him with the... Oh! Big suplex. Dropped him spine first. Out there on the apron. Shuriken is showing his aggressive side. He wants... His first crack at the world champion, or as the world champion. Oh, it's a super kick. One, it's a one count only. Oh, speaking of striking ability, champion's no slash in his own right. Oh, look at that strength. Up. Oh, landslide, landslide style slam. Only a one count though, my goodness. Oof. Okay, going for the inside out slam. And into the cover. One, two, again the champion kicks out. Shuriken. Ask himself what he's got to do. He's going to get this win here. Oh, nice counter there. Snake Eyes face first off the top turnbuckle padding. Oof. Big forearm shot. I'm going for that Earth Exploder. Another pinfall attempt. One, two. Sure can. Going for the running strike. That running kick. One, two. Oh. That may have been his best shot. Shuriken, not sure what he's got to do now to put away the champion. Oh. Big right hand. Just mounts them, starts wailing on with punches. To the 
section. Oh, a hard whip into the barricade. Free count to four. Breaking the count is the challenger, though. Oh, and a big running drop kick. Oof, throws him down. As he the barricade and starts wailing on him in the corner. Up to six. Breaks the count again. Oh. Champion finally fighting back, throwing him into the side of the ring there. I like getting the match back into the ring. Nice counter there. Reverse exploder again. Could be time. There it is. There's the running kick. Into the pin. One. Two. Three, and we got a new world champion. Look at this, it took everything. It took a landslide, took two of the reverse exploders, and two of the running knee strikes, plus an inside out slam. He had to throw everything at, at the world champion. Well, now former world champion. Boom, there's one of the rain rain that yeah, rain knee strikes. Now there's your winner. The new World Heavyweight Champion, Shuriken. Check out our new subreddit at r slash uwa 2k20. That's r slash uwa 2k20. Link will be in the description. Welcome back. Time for the finals. Time for our main event, ladies and gentlemen. We got Terra, the current champion, number one seed in this tournament, taking on Katrina Strong, who has battled back after some very grueling matches. So we're about to find out if we're going to have a new women's champion or if Terra's going to retain. And here comes our challenger, Katrina Strong. Interestingly enough, both these ladies won their semifinal matches by submission. They can land, they can land strikes, they can land slams, they can tap people out. They're both very versatile with their arsenal.
gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening for the women's championship here in UWA. That's what this whole term has been about. The title come back home with the current champion, or will it go home with the with the new title holder? Picking her up right away, and oh! Immediately going after the ribcage. The hurt body of the challenger. Oh, nice counter there. Oh, chop. Uh, known for another rib breaker. Oh. She I mean, can be very methodical if she wants to. Oh, not going for the arm. Working over the joints right there in that shoulder socket. Oof, right hand. Another one. Oh. Oh, bottom rip guillotine. Nothing fancy, just meant to drive the air out of you. Duck under. Oh, and a tornado backbreaker. Oof. Right now the champion's just picking apart the challenger. Oh, the challenger firing back. That bulldog, which helped her get her victory in the last round. Series double axe handles. And a big clothesline off the ropes. Oof, back elbow around the ear. A scoop slam by the champion. Work over the head and neck. Oof. Nice escape. Oh! Big wheel kick there. Oh, there it is. Series of strikes in the corner. Let's see where the challenger turns it around. Going for a pin. But not even a one count. Much to the shock of the challenger. Uh oh. Oh, and much, much of the shock of the champion. There's the basement kick. One, two, two and a half. The resiliency of the champion on display here. Oh, she's going for a sidewalk slam. Didn't get it. Instead, it's a bulldog. Oh, stopped on the arm. There's a gutter and suplex. She used that very effectively in the first two matches. Just wailing on her there. Oh! He used to punch in the midsection. Oh! Sit out spine buster. Goes for a pin. Two. Three! And we got a new women's champion. What a surprising victory, and we're kind of a new women's champion here tonight. That spine buster came out of nowhere and caught the champion. Racker and another barrage of blows. Oh, there it is. It is. I said she didn't hook the arm, she went for a full press for the pin. And here's your winner, and we have a new women's champion here at UWA.